Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Brickmaster Nate, and today I'm going to show you how to build my LEGO Guardian Mech. So first, I'm going to show you how to build the legs, then the arms, and then the body. So here are all the pieces you'll need for the leg. Okay, so first take a 1x4, take a 1x2, place it on like that. 1x2 slope goes on top. 1x1 one one cheese slope goes on the other end. And then take a gray Travis brick, place it on the open stud. Take two 1x1 one one with claws and place them on the ends here. Now, and take another one by three. Take a Travis brick. And a one by one with a hole. And place one of the exposed studs in the hole. And do the same on the other side with another Travis brick. And place the one by three on the bottom. Then, Take a one by one, place it in the center. Take a one by two slope and place it on like that. And then take another one by one cheese slope and place it on the top as well like that. Now take a one by two tile and place it on the side like this and do the same on the other side. Now, take a one by one with the claw and put it on the other remaining stud on the side and do the same on this side as well. Now, take a T-joint and place it on these claws and angle it up. Then place the leg onto the foot. Like this. Take another Travis brick and take two more one by one with claws and place them on the sides like this. And take a two by two plate, put it on top. And a one by, sorry, a two by three shield in gray and place it on top like that. Then take a T-joint and put it on the claws like that. Now for the last segment of the leg, take a 1x1 one one Travis brick, 1x1 one one with claws again, and place them on the sides like this, and take a 1x2 tile and place it on the side like that. Take a T-joint and place it in the claws like that and a T-joint on the bottom, right there. Now you want to attach this piece to the leg and the foot and twist it to this side like that. And take this other piece and place it on like that. And for the right leg, mirror it. And now you have both legs. Now here are all the parts you'll need for the right arm. So you take a 
one by one Travis brick. Take two one by one claws in red and place them on the sides like this. Then take a one by one white tile, place it on top. Take a T joint, place it on the bottom. Then take another T joint and place it in the claws. Now take another Travis brick, take a one by one plate, one by three slope, and place it on the one by one. Now take one by one with claws and place them on the sides. And another T joint and place them in the claws. And then you can place it in the arm or in the shoulder actually, like this. Now take a one by two with a ball socket and a one by one with this extension. And a one by two slope, place it on top. And two one by one claws. Place them on the sides like that and place that onto the T-joint. For the left arm, mirror this build, and there you have both arms. Here are all the pieces you'll need to make the body. So first, take a Travis brick, a one by one plate, one by two slope, place it on top, and a cheese slope. Then take a T joint and place it inside like that. Then take a Travis brick, two one by one with claws and place them on the sides like that. And then you can place the T joints in the claws. Now take a Travis brick and two claws and make sure that the anti stud is on the bottom like that. Then take a T joint and place it in the claws. Take two one by one plates, place them on the sides like that and put the T joint inside the other Travis brick right here. Then take two more dark gray Travis bricks, place them on the sides like that, take studs, and now a one by, sorry, a two by three plate, place it in the middle like that, take a one by two slope and place them on the sides like that. Take a jumper plate and put it in the middle and a one by one green stud and place it in the middle of the jumper plate. Now, take two jumper plates and take a one by two angled grill and put it on top of the jumper plates and place that onto the body right there. Now take two binoculars and place them on right there. 
to make the head, take a Travis brick, a cheese slope, a one by two grill, and a one by two angled grill, and place it on top, and one by four slopes angled on the sides like that. And place the head on the remaining stud right there. Here are all the pieces you'll need for the jetpack and wings. So first take a 2x3 and a 2x2 two two plate and place them side by side and take another 2x3 and place them in the middle like that. Then take a 1x2 plate and place it in the middle like that and 1x2 with ball sockets and place them on like that so the ball sockets are facing outwards. Then take a 1x2 grill, place it on top right there, two binoculars and place them right there. and two one by one flat studs. And place them on the remaining studs. Now for the wings, take a two by six flat plate and take a one by two with two studs on the side and place it Right there. Take a 1x2 slope, place it right there. 2x3 two under and a 2x2 two two under it as well. And then you'll take a jumper plate, place it right here. And a 2x2 two two jumper plate right there and there. Then take a 1x2 with the ball on the side and place it on the end right there and take a 1x4 flat tile in red and place it on top right there and you can connect it to the ball socket right there and angle it up for the second wing you can just rebuild the, just like the other wing Okay, now to put everything together, take the body and the jetpack and place the jetpack onto the body on, the, on these three studs, like that. Now take the arms and place them in to these Travis bricks on the side. Then take the legs and place them into the Travis brick right there. And there you have the completed mech. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also, don't forget to check out my video where I show off this mech in more detail. Thanks for watching. Bye!